It's time for Join Us Interactive, and uh, Aisha Ibrahim is here, and uh, you're coming to Bija. <laughs> <It's your Yeah. laughs> anyway, so it, time it, to get it clean and simple. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. don't want trouble. So <laughs> time to get interactive, get your phones, tablets, and all the gadgets, and let's get talking. You can join the conversation through our Facebook page, and it's facebook.com slash join news on TV, on Twitter at join news on TV, and on WhatsApp, the number is 0560 Please send your name and location when sending that message, and please don't call. So the rules are clear. Now, hepatitis, a deadly viral disease on sharp rise, spreading fast among Ghana's youth. Later statistics from the National Programme for Viral Hepatitis shows that suspected cases rose from about 9,000 in 2013 to 51,000 in 2014. We asked, what do you know about this disease? <laughs> I only know the name hepatitis B. I know people normally say it's got it's being attracted from sh with a much intake of sugar or something. Yeah, that's what I know. Until a chairman came did a campaign on, I didn't know about it. Okay, so what do you know about it? Uh, actually, uh, it was just a campaign I was following, but I was I couldn't um, follow up with what hap uh, what goes into it or what causes hepatitis B. But I think the little uh, I know it's about you kissing somebody with the uh, hypothesis, so it, it's, it's something that can transfer from one person to, to to the other, yeah. Well, I've heard a lot about it. People are saying that when you sit in a truck truck car and maybe you touch the person's weight, you can easily contact it. Yeah, that's all I know. And this, they also said that, I think um, a friend of mine told me that those people in the office, do, those who do desk job, they easily get it more than those out there, those who do field work and marketing and um, personnel, they easily, those in the office get it easily than those who are on the field. Well, I know hepatitis B is one of the incurable disease, and I know it affects the liver. Um, I know it's an infection, and um, it can be treated through vaccination, especially when it is early diagnosed, it can be treated. But then if it's not diagnosed and it gets so into the system, it might end up killing you. I read about it um, through the head online and also, honestly, my brother died out of it. Uh, but by then, we don't have much information about it. So we didn't know until the doctor told us that um, he died of hepatitis B because of the work he was doing. He was this um, marine guy. So his food, the water they take in the ship. I know it's the swollen of the liver. So those are some comments from the streets of Accra on Facebook. A lot more messages are coming, Israel. All right, so on, on Facebook, before I get to read your messages, uh, I'd like to draw your attention to Ocha Mekwami. He's a musician, one of uh, Ghana's most loved musicians. And he's been doing a lot of work on, on hepatitis. He actually has a, uh, the Ocha Mekwami Foundation actually uh, is pushing to get hepatitis be kicked out of this country in uh, in a number of years. He's actually pu pu put it up. So that's his page. You can get to, you know, read a bit more about uh, what he's doing as far as uh, hepatitis B is concerned. But let's get to our messages on or the comments that have come through on Facebook. All right. So here it says uh, how many FC. Says what I know about this disease is that it most of the time starts with no symptoms, but can eventually lead to jaundice and loss of appetite. I also know that this disease changes from acute chronic, acute to chronic disease. I'm well informed that I am free from this disease, but still share the pains of the victims of these disease. And picture, Ghana says I know this disease is spreading fast, and there seems to be no not much education on it even hiv aids is better than this disease because once it gets your liver and it becomes hard there would be fluid accumulation in your abdomen and that's the end of your life let's take this seriously and have more education on it and uh, isa says well it's a disease that can be treated and cured based on how you live your life first of all if you're infected you can go for viral load count and liver functioning tests based on the results of the 
based on the results that drugs are giving to cure the disease. They can live a normal life and even some people turn to develop natural acquired active immunity against the disease if their system is able to fight it. Dua Keep says Hep B virus can spread through sex, blood transfusion, mother's baby through birth, breastfeeding, shaps, uh, kissing, etc. The virus is very manageable if detected early. I think all pregnant women should be screened before birth. If expectant uh, mother is positive, there is an injection that can be given to the baby at birth to protect him from contracting it. So, yeah, uh, quite a few more comments. You can get onto our Facebook uh, page and get to read a, a whole lot of that. And on WhatsApp, Pat Kade, uh, it's a viral disease that affects the liver, can be spread mostly through sexual intercourse. And uh, you're saying, his, he says, it looks like Ghanaians are not well informed about hepatitis B. Boche says, um, <laughs> well, he's wishing someone a happy birthday. And he says, public knowledge about hepatitis B is nothing to write home about. As is Don Lafonwa says, hepatitis and HIV, which is more dangerous um you didn't add your name okay freeman from agogi says israel seriously manasa azuri awini is one of my much celebrated journalists in the world and i sometimes disagree with some of his work but i can't stop reading and admiring his writing this one from freeman agogo and uh, you also didn't add your name it says hepatitis b is a viral disease which results in liver inflammation and it's a deadly disease and uh, finally from Richard he says inflammation of the liver resulting in I think inflammation of the liver that's what you want to say so let's move on to all right before then I have uh, just one one comment here Yahweh J. Williams says uh, hmm, it's very dangerous and a lot of sugar can let you get this disease um, well, that's uh, what he has to say. And then there's this other comment that came in. It says, John Frimpong John says, voice of conscience. Voice of Frimpong John says, voice of conscience by Manasseh Azura. We need the, li the little piece that was read on Joy News on TV just made my night. Indeed, we, re we read a, a little bit of, of it. You can get a copy of the book and get to read all of it. So let's move on. Nine to five office lifestyles are fueling a pandemic of inactivity and leading to 90,000 unnecessary deaths a year. Experts have warned. They say adults who sit down for at least eight hours every day must do at least an hour's daily exercise to undo all the harm. What do you make of the research and will the knowledge of this affect you when seeking for a job? <laughs> Yeah, I prefer an ordinary job because with a desk job, you have to be sitting at a, at a place for a long period and it causes a lot of problems like waist pain, back pain, so many. But I prefer an ordinary job because with that, you have to move in, you have to be moving from one place to the other, which will, which will make you like feel a little bit okay. You strengthen your bones and other stuff, yeah. See, in Ghana, everybody wants to do white color job with tie probably with that they feel they will be respected but if you look at our actors and our musicians they are going up and down they are earning a lot of money than sitting uh, behind the decks with full air condition on their body i think uh, probably government could also campaign on that so at least the youth will move into something else a great and other stuff being in the office all the time it doesn't help. I agree to them because when you sit in one particular place, the body needs uh, to function at its own time. So when you walk, the organs work better because you'll be sweating, then you'll be exercising yourself. But when you sit in one particular place, you'll be working, you'll be feeling pain, you'll be eating. So what the organs in the body are supposed to do, they don't do it. They, they just store the food there and you can get cancer, stroke, and stuff. So I think working on the field is better. Actually, I, will, I, will not, I don't like being doing a desk job because I can't sit down for a long time. I don't, that's my nature. I don't like it at all. I like roaming, like working and 
doing my own sorts of things, yeah. I don't think about money always. I just think about my health first. So like, if you have, if you have health, you have everything. That's what I believe in. Oh, I'll not go for, I'll not go in for a desk job. I'll go in for a field work. Why? To prevent myself from hepatitis B. All right, so, um, Israel, do we have some comments? All right, I just that? have one comment. Richmond at Tukwame says, I don't think so because I do exercise daily. So, well, I mean, so long as you're exercising, it's good. And from Bogolo, he says, those who work in the offices get old and weak easily. <laughs> we'll take a break on Join Us Interactive. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Welcome back to Join Us Interactive. I'd like to take this message from Nantoma Mama Dubadum Subi. He says, I prefer a job that I can be mobile instead of sitting in one place for a period of time. It should not be about money always, but your health too is important. And this one, who wanted to say, he says, um, it's hepatitis B is the inflammation of the liver, which results in um, cirrhosis. That's what he wanted to say. Um, he's insisting I read it. Well, we can look at our trending video now. <laughs> so this is a 72-year-old from Gabon uh, who says he's overwhelmed after the Canadian pop star Celine Dion shared a video of him performing one of her hits. The video of the boy, Samuel, singing the power of love while sitting on a staircase. <laughs> and this has attracted millions of views on Facebook. <laughs> Israel. <laughs> All right. I mean, but yeah, I, I thought he was actually singing quite well. I first, at the a point lyrics I, I wasn't were sure. not quite clear. Well, yeah, the voice came out quite okay. Yeah, the you voice was actually think okay, that he's a backing for Celine Dion or something. <laughs> So it's not so bad. Uh, let's see what's <laughs> what's on on Twitter. Mm, all right. So, well, Chief Mandosa is simply referring to the uh, sitting in the office, and it says the exercise will help a lot. So, well, that's it. I'll be here for the bulletin. And that's it for joining us interactive. My name is Aisha Bryan. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.